All right, guys. So this is one of my favorite things ever that we do year after year. Um, it's called um, our version of Shark Tank, where basically we are going to ask you guys to use everything that you've learned about the law of sines and the law of cosines and try to like do something real world applicable. So we're very excited about this and we hope you guys can um, find something to be excited about too. So the idea is like, okay, so your teacher is like Mark Cuban or somebody. And um, we're basically going to look at all of the above. Um, creativity, ingenuity, overall smarts. You are going to create a business idea with a product to sell. And then uh, we have this situation that we're going to show you where we're going to describe where your business is located and the cities you're going to ship to. And you're going to do a little bit of math. Of course, the smart businessy math that goes into um uh, you know, any kind of business. And then you're going to also market your product and try to sell us on it. So this is how we're going to be grading it. This will be a summative grade and you will be working with a partner. Okay. Um, I'm okay with groups of three, but no more than three uh, for sure. So groups of two or three, I do not recommend you do this solo. It's a lot of work for one person and you're going to get stuck and want to bounce ideas off of somebody else. Okay. So um, initially you're just going to come up with, you know, who are my groups? members and then this part right here uh, start thinking of um how you're going you know what are you going to come up with are you going to invent something new are you going to put on spin a spin on something that already exists are you going to give it a clever new name but you know go crazy if you were on shark tank here's what i would sell and think of like how would you sell it to me because uh, i'm probably going to ask you guys to give me a 30 second pitch about what your product is it doesn't have to be fancy i just want to know what the idea is and there will be extra credit for who i decide to quote unquote invest in just like the show okay now, the mathy part. Woo! This is going to be overwhelming at first. Nobody panic. Okay. Um, you're going to have this ridiculous paragraph to read through, and yours will be very similar to the one that you're looking at. Um, I'm actually going to sketch this out for you to show you sort of what's going to happen and what I'm asking for, um, but your information will be different. So um, I need you to read this over real quick and as we're reading it uh, we're going to start to draw you know what's happening so y'all read while i'm finding a spot to draw okay <laughs> okay if that wasn't enough time you need to hit pause and read it um but I'm going to start drawing. So, um, I, your company has an office on the coastline. The coastline runs from the east to the west. So, we're going to call that the coastline, right? East to west or west to east. All right, coast. Line. Eek. Coast L. Coastline. My pen froze. This is what happens when I try to do nice things for people. Okay. Um, your factory is located on a nearby island in the ocean. That's 11 miles and 48 degrees north of east from your building. 48 degrees north of east. So what I'm going to do is first I need to just put a point on the shore and I'm going to call that my, my building or my office. I'll call it B for building. And then I need to draw this. Okay, so north of east. Well, this is the west and this is the east, right? So, um, in fact, I think I'm going to move my building a little further over to this side. How about that? We'll call that my building. Um, because it looks like for this problem, 48 degrees north of east. It's going to look somewhere like that. Okay. That's 48 degrees north of east. And it's going to be 11 miles away. So I'm just going to label that distance as 11 miles. That's going to be my island where my factory is. Okay. All right. F for factory. So the factory is holding your product. You want to sell to two different cities. Okay, so now it's going to tell us where the cities are. So uh, we need to keep in mind this area here is the water. All right. And then that's the coastline, like the beach. And then this is going to be the land. All right. So let me see if I can draw these right. Blah, 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 blah. One city is 15 miles and 10 degrees south of east from your office. So if my office building is here, I need to go 10 degrees south of east. So I'm gonna start in the east and go 10 south of that. And then it says it's 15 miles away. So that's a little 10, 10 degrees south of east, and that's gonna be city one. 
Uh, city 2 is 21 miles, so it'll be a further distance, okay? But it's 72 degrees south of west from your building. Well, here's the west, so it's going to be ooh, 72. That's pretty steep. So let's call that 72, and then it needs to be a little bit longer than the 15, right? Because it says 21, so maybe we'll call that 21. And that's going to be city 2. Okay, so we kind of got an idea of what's going on here. Oh, wait, what was that angle? 72. Beautiful. All right. Both cities want you to transport your product to them from the factory. So we've got to go through the ocean, hit the beach, and then get to the cities. You must build a road or bridge to get to the shore, and then you must build roads to each of the cities. And yes, we're going to assume straight roads, okay? The cities have agreed to provide and install the roads to their city from the coastline for specific prices. And then it's going to give us all the money. I'm not going to worry about the money yet because that's going to be my very last step. I just need to figure out what the crap's happening in my picture, okay? You have exactly this many feet of free building material that you must use all of to get from your island factory to the shoreline. And notice it says assume, use it all, and don't assume that it hits the coast at a 90. So basically it's saying, there's, this is a lot of feet of material, right? It's saying don't just drop it straight down. So don't do that. Don't do that, okay? Instead, let's figure out how long that whatever is. Uh, 52,800. Well, how many feet are in a mile, right? Isn't it 52,80? So there's 52,80 f feet in one mile. So based on that, this is giving me 10 miles of bridge that I have to use. So um, look at your picture, gang. You have a 48 degrees. The opposite side of that, like wherever I draw this, is 10 miles long, okay? according to this thingy here. And then the other side that I know is an 11. So if I just focus on this triangle that's in the water, I have an angle side side. And oh my gosh, it's an acute angle. And oh my gosh, the thing opposite is smaller. So this is most likely going to turn into an ambiguous case. So the 10 could either swing to the outside or that same exact length could land closer to my building. Okay, And this is going to be the setup of my picture and what I would need to do because then I'm going to have to figure out where I hit the beach. You know, like where is this spot and where is this spot? Because one of these is going to be the better place to hit the beach. And whichever one is better, I then need to look at getting to my cities. You know, how much is it going to cost for me to build two roads? So you're looking for the cost of these dashed lines and seeing how expensive is that route? And then you're gonna look at the cost for maybe these green dashy lines and see like what's the cost for that route. And at some point you're probably gonna find the distance between these two cities as well. So it's just like triangle madness and mania. So your word problem will be very similar to this, okay? It's just everything will be kind of drawn a little bit different because all the pictures are different. Everyone's going to have a different problem. Uh, there'll be different angles. There'll be different dis distances. But the way you set up your picture will be very similar to this. And I recommend taking sort of my simplistic way of sketching this map and doing the same thing on your paper. Um, and then you're going to do about, you know, 20 law of sines or cosines problems is what it's going to probably turn into uh, so that at the end you can find the cheapest route. So the the group that comes up with the best company or the best uh, product or the best math or actually it will be a combination of all three of those sort of ideas. Um, you guys are going to be the ones that end up with extra credit most likely for having a killer project. Um, this is a test grade. This is a test grade and you have today the entire block and but wait there's more. The next class day, I say tomorrow, but you know what I'm saying. You have two block days to get this done, and it is due at the end of block day number two. So get busy on the math. Uh, follow the directions at the top of the rubric. This is going to be important. Sketch it, sketch it all out, you know, but everyone has to have their own drawing. Start doing math together. Um, all of that's worth 85 points. The other 15 is going to be the fun product that you come up with. So please do not spend 
the next hour on the brainstorming of your invention because the math is worth more points and this is a test grade. Um, but choose your groups wisely, uh, gather materials from your teacher, and you guys have fun!